Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. Leadership Walkabout. Most Mondays, you'll find my wife and I walking the streets of Los Angeles. Well, more specifically, you'll see us on the stairs of streets within Greater Los Angeles. See, some friends of ours mentioned a great book titled Secret Stairs, a walking guide to the historic staircases of Los Angeles, and through which we've come to thoroughly enjoy the charms and quirks of unique features of the Los Angeles landscape. The book chronicles the geographical, architectural, and historical aspects of the city's often hidden staircases, as well as the neighborhoods in which the steps are located, some of which are over 100 years old. Although we've seen some fabulous sites, many of which we'd never have discovered unless we were on foot, there has been countless times when one of us has said to the other, we're not in Santa Clarita anymore. Oftentimes, the graffiti we stumble across is just despicable. Sometimes the trash we have to wade through is depressing. More often than not, the beauty of one home is overshadowed by the crumbling decay and decadence we can see all around. I've come to the conclusion that what makes the difference between some of the streets we've walked on during our sojourns and the streets we live on for the rest of the week can be distilled down into two components, local leadership and an engaged community. See, a city is rather like a place of work. Good leaders make cities great places to live and great places to work. In turn, good city leadership engenders an engaged community in the same way that excellent workplace leaders attract and retain talented individuals as employees. Cities crumble because of poor leadership and organizations are no different. We hear talk of the great resignation and I'd suggest from my observation experience, those talented individuals are not necessarily leaving for just a few extra dollars. They're following quality leadership and want to be part of something they believe in. Likewise, I believe Santa Clarita will continue to thrive as a community because of the quality of leadership at all levels within our city. As a case in point, I reported some graffiti to the city of Santa Clarita hotline recently, and within an hour, it was gone. I wonder what would have happened if I'd have called in some of the scribblings I'd seen in the city of Angels. See, effective leaders deal with issues immediately. They don't let things fester and get worse. Policing refers to this as the broken window theory, which states that visible signs of crime antisocial behavior and civil disorder create an urban environment that encourages further crime and disorder, including serious crimes. I've seen this theory applied in the real workplaces of the world. When leaders are people worth following, there's less disharmony, disruption and discordance within the organization. When leaders have policies and procedures to metaphorically remove graffiti immediately, employees garner more pride within their place of work. I remember as a regional director for a major hotel company, we saw a direct correlation between employee engagement and the cleanliness and orderliness of the staff break rooms. If there was tired and torn furniture in the employee rest area that wasn't repaired or replaced, we'd soon see morale drop and customer satisfaction scores suffer. I can understand why the late Dr. Stephen Covey's quote, treat your employees in a way you want them to treat your customer, rang so true. As we approach our 35th anniversary as a city in December, I remain grateful for our city founders who clearly built this place on a set of timeless principles such as excellence, ethics, and service. Words you can see within the city's philosophy, philosophy statement. Honourable leadership in the past and the present has engaged a community which in turn makes it a great place to live, work and play. My hope 
is that workplace leaders continue to walk the streets of their own organisations, avenues and byways which are now online as much as on site, asking themselves if their leaders worth following, removing graffiti immediately and replacing resources in a timely manner so that employees will serve their customers excellently. I hope you found that short story useful, and if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5, an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.